Hey guys, what's going on? Arlie here, and welcome to Honey Pop, which is a game I've actually played before, but I've never played all the way through. I've also seen other like popular YouTubers play through this, as well as other iterations of it. Um, it's a, it serves as a little bit of a test for me. Uh, I have a new computer, and I would love to play Steam games for you guys, and I've gotten some other suggestions for games that are not necessarily on platform, console, etc. So this is my way of both trying out something new, as well as just doing something fun on camera that I can post for all of you guys to enjoy. So uh, maybe you've heard of this before, maybe you haven't. It's like a puzzle game, but it's also like a dating sim that's a little bit lewd and crude. So we'll see. Hopefully I won't have to censor anything out just yet. Yeah, this is like my practice one. <laughs> just to, to see if I can get it to work even. Uh, I am a male, so I'll start as a male. And then we'll go through the story and see see how it goes. But it's it's a pretty cool game. Like, it, like I've seen Markiplier play it, and that's how I got into it. But uh, I'm pretty sure other people have played it as well. There's also full voice acting, so we're going to listen to all that. And I don't have to do my silly voices. Well, I guess I could talk for myself. <laughs> Hi! Hello! Okay, could I get you to maybe take it down a notch? I'm right here. No, I have to yell at you. It's a rare condition. Uh... Oh, I think okay. I'm in love with you. Maybe we can take a step back here. <laughs> My... Oop, sorry. <laughs> I'm not used to using a mouse to play games, so that's going to be part of it too. My name is Q, nice to meet you. Uh... Uh, cause Japanese. You mean like the letter? Not like that at all. Look, dude. Cool. Right? Looks like you're having some trouble holding it together over there. And then something tells me you would have said the same thing no matter what I picked. Uh, what do you mean? I'm fine. <laughs> I mean, I can literally see you sweating through your shirt. <laughs> How much of this is cringy? Really? Uh, shit. Yeah, sorry. I should just go. Nah, I'm a weirdo. This might actually work. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, this is your lucky day, buddy. Listen, I gotta go, but we'll meet again real soon. Trust me. Night. Mm-hmm. Night. Mm-hmm. She's super cute, but really obnoxious. Like, uh. She's one of those. She's one of those girls that's like, like bombshell, hey, my type. Hello, but like, I don't know, do. the kind of over. I said, get uh, up. Shut up! I'm, I'm trying to explain stuff here. Uh, I was having the best dream. I don't know. Her attitude is kind of meh, meh to me, but definitely still dreaming. Fairies aren't real. Oh no. Did did we? <laughs> no, no, God, no. Besides, I was Not yet. I know what happens later in the game. <laughs> I'm a fairy. Well, a love fairy to be exact. <laughs> Why didn't she just say so? Let's leave the sarcasm to me, alright? You see, as a love Yeah, you're so good at it. My job to help poor saps like you out with the ladies. I need no help in this department. I don't like to brag, but I'll have you know I have a very impressive track record. All of my previous clients are basically walking babe Ladies. Now. You go. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's just say you will be my greatest accomplishment yet. Is that so? Uh, still having a hard time accepting the fairy oh, thing. Kind of crushes my reality. It. It's gonna be great. We need to get started right away. Tell me, how many dates have you been on? An amount. Eh. Oh my god, it's worse than I Seems like the most it? logical answer. Right, grab your yeah, shirt, wait, wait, again, could have picked anything. Someone has to show you the ropes. I know a place nearby that's open pretty late. You'll love it. Or not, I don't care. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, basically the concept of this game is that dates are puzzles. Again, if you've never seen it before, it's kind of like Bejeweled, right. only I'm there's a bunch of link. sexy this women involved. The These little pieces are called tokens. 
You earn affection by matching three or more of the circular tokens horizontally or vertically. For a successful date, you have to fill the affection meter before you run out of moves. Go ahead, give mm -hmm, it a shot. Mm -hmm. Match Go on. those orange ones with the crescent shape in the middle of the grid. I will. I also had to readjust the the resolution because I guess if you have a, the wrong resolution, it Each won't actually scroll over the right thing. Represents a particular trait. The orange ones represent romance, talent, <coughs> green is flirtation, and red is sexuality. Pay attention. And to which every person likes a different course, trait. Five tokens will get you even more affection. I'll show you. Match those four sexuality tokens in the bottom right of the grid. Let me. It's these ones, right? Yeah. Sweet. Okay, what's next? Oh, right. Let me cover the other token types real quick. The pink hearts are passion tokens. Matching those will raise your date's passion level. The higher her passion level is, the more affection you'll earn. The gold bells are joy tokens. You'll get an extra move by matching those. Very useful. The broken heart tokens are bad news. Seriously, avoid matching those as best you can. Finally, the teardrops are sentiment tokens. Matching those gives you, well, sentiment. You need sentiment in order to use date gifts. And seeing as how you don't have any date gifts, I'm guessing I need to explain that too. Here, I'll hook you up with one of mine. It's on the house. Mm -hmm. like I said, Thank you. You'll need sentiment to use it. So go ahead and match those three sentiment tokens in the leftmost column, the teardrops. Da 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 da. Okay, now go ahead and give that date gift to me. Oh, with pleasure. Take it back. Cool, huh? There are like a ton of different date gifts that you can get too. They each have a unique effect on the date and can be extremely useful in combination. Oh, <laughs> and thanks to a little fairy magic, you'll never actually lose them. So you can use them on your next date too. <laughs> Is that cool or what? All right, all right, the I've coolest. gone on long enough. I'll let you finish up yeah. the date so you can get the hang of it. Oh, and don't worry, I won't let you fail this one. I'm not that mean. Yep, you can fail dates. All right, so if you didn't get all that, just to break it down, hearts equal passion level, gain your passion level up, you get more points. M the bells are moves. If you run out of moves, you fail the date. Sentiment is just something that helps you with gifts and other stuff like that. Like, it's it's pretty straightforward. Like, I recommend it. It's, 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 uh, I can't remember if it's a free game or if it's, like, really cheap. I think I bought it for, like, less than 10 bucks. So um, if you like puzzle games and, you know, dating sims... So, and the cool thing about this game is you can move things all the way down a column or row. It doesn't have to be right next to it. Hmm, I want to get a bell down there. Oh, yes. <laughs> Don't make fun of me if I'm not good. Uh, I honestly do not play puzzle games all that much. So, uh... There might be moves that I miss that that might just be super obvious, and uh, you know, don't judge me. So level two heart, and of course she likes sexuality, and more hearts. Yeah, move. All right. I have this set to normal difficulty. I feel like that would be the fairest for me because I don't want it too easy. But at the same time, I don't want to fail every date and then just make it a really boring playthrough. I also don't know if I'm going to play this whole game. This is a practice, but like like I said, I haven't beaten the game. So, who knows? If people watch this or they want to see more, I will definitely play through the whole thing. Already? We are way behind schedule. Okay, check it out. I have one last thing to give you, and this is important. Introduce it's a cell phone. the latest in Love Fairy technology, the Honey Bee 4.0. The honeybee is an essential lifeline for any player on the go. It automatically registers mm -hmm. the info of new girls you meet and can even track their location. You can organize your inventory, buy new gifts, upgrade your traits. It's awesome! We don't have time to go over every feature, but you're a big boy. You can figure it out. To access yeah, the honeybee, yeah, I'm a big boy. all you have to do is right click at pretty much any time. Or if you're weird, you can use that button at the top of the screen. Go ahead, break that bad boy open. 
Alrighty. So, this is everything you can have. Oh, I got a tissue box and a dirty magazine. But yeah, the girl finder, girls, messages from girls, inventory, my traits. Are they my traits? Yeah, I can. so I can up my traits and attract different kinds of people. There's so many gifts. They, this game has a lot of depth, I guess I'd call it. And then I can change my gender if I wanted to, but I think it just changes like one word or something for the whole playthrough. That's 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 in, insensitive. <laughs> or we just chill here and play video games. Some broads. Some broads. What are you from Brooklyn now? Uh, uh hell yeah, let's do this. Now if you want to meet a hot chick, you gotta go where the hot chicks are. I've done some scouting and I have a few ideas of where to start. It depends what type of girl you're into. We can check out the university, the mall, the gym, the park, or the nearby cafe. What'll it be? Now, I vaguely remember where people are, but I think I'm gonna start at school. Maybe the cafe. Good I'm gonna start with the cafe. Sucky. I picked it better myself. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. Again, Get probably could have said anything. This is my game face. Staring directly into all of your souls, so appreciate it. Do you like the new camera, by Excuse the way? Me, miss? It's much better yeah? than the old one. I've been here for a while now. I'm still waiting to be helped. Oh, yeah. So my shift just ended. I'm pretty much out the door already. Um, I think someone else should be in any minute. I'm just looking to get a cappuccino. It only takes a second. I mean, it's more than a second, so... Are you serious? I should have left over 15 minutes ago, okay? I'm done. Wow. Okay. Mmm, mmm, I love me some chocolate. I'll have a tall glass of whatever <laughs> she's serving. <laughs> know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Uh, you're so crude, Q. can't Pew. see or hear me. I'm just a figment of your imagination. Plot twist! <laughs> nah, no. I'm crazy real. I just hid myself from everyone so I can give you advice on the sidelines. You're crazy annoying, Let's too. See. Considering what just went down, she's probably a little pissed off. Try to get on her good side. Open with something safe, like something she probably wants to hear. Customer service these days. See, in these kind of situations, I understand both of the people. Like, I spent 10 years in retail. I, I know this might be, not be the best time for a story. But yeah, I, I worked in retail for 10 years. And like, yeah, I get it. Customers suck. Like, like, it's so demanding, and like, it, it sometimes you come off as the bad guy because you're just kind of like, you don't care. But after so many years working in retail, you really don't care. People are rude, people are insensitive, and people don't give a shit about you. You're just the lowest rung on the ladder. You know, your, your only purpose in life is to serve them, and when you can't do that properly, then you're, you're just a piece of shit. And it's not fair. It's not fair the way that a lot of people treat, like, retail workers because retail workers like without them even though you know they should get paid more but without them like where you know where are you gonna get your stupid starbucks where are you gonna like who's gonna make you all of your cheap shit who's gonna serve you your food you know who's gonna stock your clothing like in this in the department stores like we need these people but you know so many people just treat them like shit and it's sad but you know neither here nor there anyway customer service these days am i right Um, see, all these are equally creepy. Uh, <laughs> I've only been waiting for a chance to talk with you. That sounds the most normal, I think. Why? Yeah, you! You with the hair! I have to give you credit, though. I mean, there's a lot that I like. You don't hear that often enough. Is that your technique? Hitting on girls at the coffee shop? Is it working? It's not working. I'll tell you what, Big Shot. You caught me in a good mood. I normally don't give in so easily, so consider yourself lucky. My name is I'm Lily. sure you say that to everyone. If I 
can get my Lola. I like Lola. The next year, maybe we can sit down. I want to hear more about how attractive I am. <laughs> oh no, she's full of herself. No way! You did it. Well, with my yep, help. Yep, I did it. Score, home I run. Admit, <laughs> I did not expect you to pull that off. Beginners with zero to sixty in like ten seconds head. flat. By the way, that other chick that was here just a second ago. Since she was in range, the honeybee started tracking her location too. So after you're done here with this girl, you can go catch up with her too. Just bust out the honeybee and check out the girl finder screen. I'm pumped. You pumped? Yeah, you're pumped. Go get them. I'll be around if you need me. So pumped. This is the proper <laughs> way to date saying, people. Of course you need me. Everyone needs a girl tracker. Or guy tracker, depending on what you're into. Nah, I'll I'm talk with you. About, what is it about me that made you approach me, really? Hmm. She likes being called attractive. Maybe form-fitting? I feel like this would be insulting. But then again, maybe it wouldn't be insulting to some people. Uh, I'll go at the bottom. Yep, alright, cool. I do look good in the uniform. Really good. I like this uniform. I can't remember all of her uniforms. Like I said, it's been a long time since I've actually looked into this game, but uh, I think this is one of my favorite like looks for her. Later on, you get to change the looks of all the people that you date, which is a nice, fun thing. Um, oh, that's right. She has hunger needs, too. Mm, eh, what do you do for work? I'm an airline stewardess. I absolutely love it. That's very nice. Um, I only have a thousand bucks. What can I purchase? What does she like? Do I know what she like? Profile, romance, sports, travel. She likes breakfasts and fruit. She likes fruit. I gotta buy her fruit. Where's the fruit? Food. You are gonna love this. Pancakes. Oh, well, I guess it tells you. The star means, like, that's good for her, so. So I will give you a muffin. Eat up, Lola. Alright, now I can talk to you more. Do you enjoy drinking coffee? I mean, I assume you do, so. I like to brew a cup for myself every now and again. Damn. Eh, whatever. Alright, let's go on a date. Let's see how, how hard I fail. I'll finish this date with Lola, and then I'll end this episode here. And then you guys can decide whether you want me to keep playing. I bet I win more than you. This is a pretty good costume, too. <laughs> Alright, I want to get hearts and I want to get turns. Because extra turns mean the world to me. Hearts, hearts. Burr, 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 burr. No, I'm losing it. Okay, cool. Alright, sexuality, not a big thing for her. Sentiment, good. Uh, uh, can I get something there? Ooh. Oh, she likes the moons. She likes the moons! And I have 15 turns, which is, should be more than enough, I think. Ooh, that'd be a nice place for a, a crescent right there. <laughs> Guys, I gotta concentrate. Stop. Stop bothering me. Ah. Blood. It looks like blood, so I'm just, I just call it blood. It's a blood token. Uh, fuck. I know... Uh, fine, I guess. Moon! Alright, I, I... If I don't win this, then, you know, it's really sad. Boom! And then she just pays me. I take her on a date and I get a ton of money. Stay longer. I had a really great time. Oh, I still had the gift too. I didn't even need to use that. It's gonna take me a tiny bit to get back into the swing of how this game works. But don't worry, I won't actually do anything off camera in case you guys want me to keep playing. I've unlocked Lola's downtown outfit, and I got a new message from Q. Every date you go on is gonna be more challenging than the last. If you don't improve your traits, you're gonna blow it. 
Trust me, you can use the honey you earn from interacting with girls to upgrade your traits using the traits app. Before I forget, the money you earn during our date, you can use that to buy gift, food, drinks, store app, blah, blah, blah. It'll even detect the gifts girls you're talking with prefer and will mark them down with an icon. You practically, we've practically done all the work for you. So yeah, I can upgrade this with honey, but I have nowhere near enough right now. But um, as you talk to people, it, it, I'll, I'll talk to her one more time. Um, what do you do for work? Ah! <laughs> wow! First thing I do is I fuck up. I, my my mind is completely like uh, brain dead now. But all right, well now I pissed her off. Good place to end, right? Um, all right, so yeah, this is Honey Pop. Again, it's a fun game. If you want me to play more of it, let me know in the comments or on Instagram, because I know some of you follow me on, on Instagram. So uh, let me know. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.